Matthew here from MiniWarGaming.com and welcome to the Battle for Ulstrama Delta. This is our eight-part series of a combined Battlefleet Gothic and Warhammer 40k campaign where it's just one large battle that culminates in a three-part Planet Strike campaign on the surface of Ulstrama Delta. This is between Steve, who will be piloting the Orc fleet and the Orcs on the ground, and Luca, who will be playing the Imperial Navy, Imperial Guards, and the Space Wolves. This campaign is designed so that as we're playing Battlefleet Gothic at a massive scale, that the major boarding actions and planet strikes will actually be played with games of Warhammer 40k. And so the idea behind this is that it mixes the two games together and that you're witnessing one long battle over the course of this eight-part series. So for the first part, we've got the huge Battlefleet Gothic table set up with thousands of points on both sides represented all over the table. There is a moon that is basically the Death Star and that currently is under the control of the Imperial Navy, but Steve is able to take over with his orcs. He needs to get his rocks and his battleships to Ulstrama Delta and land his troops there. As he lands more and more troops, he'll have more access to resources in the actual Planet Strike games that we'll play as well. On the other side of the table, there's a space station currently being protected by a Space Wolf fleet, and there is an enormous Space Hulk bearing down. So really there's almost like two games of Battlefleet Gotha going on, but they can affect each other, of course, because they're on the same table, even though there is an asteroid field seeded with mines. Whoever controls the space station controls the asteroid field. So it is not uh, the, the orcs' objective to destroy the space station. They actually want to board it and take it over for themselves. So you're going to see this eight-part series available now. This will be the first episode, the first turn of the Battlefleet Gothic game, maybe the second turn too, if there's no boarding actions in the first turn. And then the second episode will be in the link below in the mini Wargaming Vault, which you can get a free seven-day trial to if you're not already a member. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the carnage that is the battle for Alstrama. We play and call it work. And now it's time for the most important roll of the entire game. Oh. You both have a die? Oh, crap. Oh, Steve is totally ready. So is Luca. Luca's never ready. Yeah. Damn it, damn so it. you're going to roll off, and the winner must go first. So Steve, go ahead and give me your roll. This is the roll to beat. Luca, can you beat a two? A five. Five. So it's going to be Imperial Navy, turn one. As we go into the first movement phase, a couple quick points. So we did a couple little house rules here because of the size of the game. First off, we did not roll random leaderships. Escorts are <laughs> leadership seven, cruisers are eight, capital ships, or sorry, uh, battleships are nine. Yeah. And then one less for the orcs, of course, six, seven, and eight. Yeah. Except for your commanders, they have whatever set leadership they have. On top of that, because of the size of the game, you can do orders until you fail three of them. Right. So as soon as you fail three orders, then you're done. Oh, and yes, the space marines are one extra leadership. So eight, they'd nine, be ten. eight, nine, ten. So it'd be eight, nine, and then ten on that one automatically. Oh, these guys are escorts as well. Oh, those are escorts. Okay, yeah. so they'd be eight as well. So eight, nine, and ten. We won't be recording everything for obvious reasons, so Luca, tell us the first bout of what you're about to do, and then we'll show a couple of the rolls. All right, Solar Admiral Heracles is going to order a target lock for his Emperor class battle cruiser. And what is everybody around him going to be trying to do? We're all going to target lock. Okay, so everybody's going to target lock. our highest leadership on the way down, though. Okay, let's record the very first roll. First one is leadership 10, right? Or is, it, or is it 9? It's, uh, he's the Solar Admiral, he's 10. He's 10. Yeah. And you pass your first order. Here's the position of this part of the fleet before. And this is the after. Most of them stayed in low orbit, which allowed them not to move. You failed two of your orders so far and opted not to go any further. Yeah, they both failed their lock-ons. Yeah. And then you wanted to save the third. And since we're, I'm making them activate in groups, they're not allowed to move on to, until they finish that group. Luca didn't want to risk losing that last one. Right. But it might be something more important. So lock on four times, and those, cruise, and those uh, escorts move forward with their weapon batteries. And then we've got all of these defenses, by the way, are lances ready to go. And then we're going to move all the way past the asteroid field, and they're just going to move, no orders. The Cobra-class escorts move forward, they're going to unleash a salvo of torpedoes, and the firestorms are just getting minimum move to get into position, they're not in range to fire. And next we move over here to some more firestorm escorts. Right. Moving forward and no orders, these ships, we had the wrong ones there, so we just swapped them back. So these are all firestorms, ready to go. 
Then we have the Space Marine fleet. What are you going to do with them? Uh, the, the, the wolves here are going to burn retros and try and fight near the space station. They're not going to go flying out and away from that support. All right, so let's do a bunch really quick. Battle. Battle barge, 10 or turn or less. Oh, battle barge. It's going to move just a little bit. Bloop. There we go. Escorts. Escorts. I'll do the strike cruisers first. Strike cruiser there, passing, yep. and then he's going to move just a little bit. And then the other one is going to also... So you're win. just not defenses, basically? Exactly. I don't want to be defenses. Escorts. Escorts. Burn retros. Good. Boop, 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 boop. Move all a little bit. Boop, 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 boop. And last escorts. Uh, yes. Pass because you're space marines. They're marines. Everything's burned retros but moved a little bit so they're not defenses. And then we come to the other side here near the moon with the the infinite range Nova cannon locked onto it or built onto it and ready for this battle group. All right, we're going to try a very aggressive target lock. I've stopped these rocks in there uh, before too many of them get to the planet. So and here's the before. Only one order was passed on your, your larger cruiser right there. Everything else just moving forward, getting ready to fire as much as possible. The Imperial Navy and the Space Wolves are in position to open fire and start trying to destroy some of the Orc ships. For the first shot of the game, Luca is going to fire the infinite range, no minimum range, no rules except visibility, Nova Cannon. From Where? the moon. We, we From like the Death Star. We like this guy's head. Boom. Now you're more than 45 and more than 60 away, is that right? I'm actually within 60 now. Okay, so it's going to scatter 2d6. And our scatter will be 8, eight centimeters. centimeters, which puts it there, missing everything. Boom. So we put a blast marker where it was. There's still an explosion leaving a blast marker, so that'll help at least. Having a taste for Nova Cannons, Luke is going to unload the rest of them. I wanted to do them all right away. So you got three of them here. Here and here. Yeah, we'll, we'll just keep firing this cluster. We'll go with the Mercury Battle Cruiser. Target priority test, need to roll eight or less. Boom! He wants to fire far. He does it, so you can fire wherever the heck he wants. We don't, Same spot. We don't like this cluster here. Uh, let's hope for, uh, well, only four centimeters. Four centimeter scatter. Ends up, does it just hit the one? I think it just hits his buddy. <laughs> but it's struck center though. Oh yeah. So D6 hits. So this one gets D6 hits. It has a shield, so it could survive if you roll a one. Nope. And yeah, then this one takes one, so just a shield hit. So one destroyed, plus a shield hit, plus another blast. And then Lance is on the rock on fours. One hit. Ooh, critical. That's a shield impact. They have shields! Armageddon then fired forward the Nova Cannon right into here, getting a direct hit and blowing up this cruiser right, or this escort right here, and fired his lances into the, the shield downed rock, inflicting a critical hit, which actually just does an extra hit against them. The Mars class battle cruiser right here, then fired its Nova Cannon, which scatters to here, and then lobbed two lances into this rock again, both inflicting hits, but no criticals. Onto the sword class escorts, they are going to unload all their weapon batteries into the Cruel Boy. Seven in the front, eight in the side. Looking for sixes to hurt the front armor. We have one. one. so far. Five for the side. Whoa, Ooh, two more, two. so that's three total. Upgraded to D3 plus one shields. Ooh, four, four shields. Four shields. Three out of four shield hits. Next, the Dauntless Lake Cruisers will shoot lances at the Cruel Boy. And we did do the priority test. Not bracing. There's the first three. Dodge and the, and the other three. The second cruiser. Nothing. Nothing. Wow. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Well, that was sad. Let's go to these Cobras. You know, let loose their weapon batteries at that rock. We Five. need fives to damage it. We got? One. That's a shield That's hit. a shield. Boom. Let's get some planetary defense support here and fire all their lances at the Cruel Boy. Now they only have one lance shot each, but they're all going to just shoot together. We got one! It's a shield. Last shield impact. Shields are down. The big boy, the Emperor class battle cruiser, will fire his weapon batteries forward into that lone rock. Hitting on fives! But we have target lock. Reroll. Help! Hey! Oh, five Whoa. hits. Five hits. So you roll for criticals. You roll three sixes, it's gone. So that's one critical. Down to two out of eight. Boom, baby. Let's resolve these cobras into that rock. Five weapon batteries, because it's a defense. Uh, one hit. Some planetary defense systems there, lances. We'll try to finish this rock off. Fours! We got nothing. nothing. The rest of the lances fired nothing, shield, and took another hit off of that one. Dauntless Light Cruiser passes a priority test and wants to put his three lances in there. We're going to record this because it's so close. That's that dropped. doesn't count. You dropped it. Fours to hit. Are rolling? Oh, you got him. You got uh, him. We got him. We got him. And it breaks up into lots of blast markers. That is all the shooting. We'll still have lots of ordnance on this side of the table. Come in over here. Everything is out of range because he stayed back, except for... Are these firestorms? Yeah, the firestorms are going to let loose their <laughs> lances and weapon batteries. And not bracing. Steve's being brave. Fives hit with the weapon batteries. One hit. One shield hit. 
And the lances! On fours. Oh! Four of them. Four more. It'll kill two in a shield impact. And now it's time for Luca to let loose his ordnance. This is so much. And then a crap ton of ordnance was unleashed. Oh my goodness. Fighters and bombers here, torpedoes up there. Some of them hit, we're gonna resolve them. We already rolled all the dice to see if things blow up in the asteroid fields. We got Thunderhawks coming through the asteroid field to reinforce this part. <laughs> Realizing I need the support. <laughs> yeah, and then torpedoes shooting forward over here and on the other side of the table as well. Two turrets firing there on fives because they're orcs. And then we got four shots. Four shots on fives. And I do nothing. nothing. But that means the, they just the torpedoes keep going. Yeah. Two more blast markers. Oh, there's a six, so they actually explode inside of the wreckage. Next torpedoes, two turrets on fives. Ooh, Ooh. we knock it down to four shots. Hitting back on fives. One more. hit, is it a crit? It is not. not. Torpedoes move through and hit the next escort who has three turrets, because he upgraded them. Oh, <laughs> takes up two of the torpedoes, so one chance to hurt it on a five. No. no. Mass turrets on this torpedo, so on fives, you take out two of them, so that brings it down to two. Which then hit on fives. Oh, you hit one, that destroys one escort. And it travels to the blast marker, survived, because we rolled, and then hits the next one, the turrets then take it out. So after the first opening volley from the Imperial Navy and the Space Marines, you lost four cruisers, five cruisers, and a rock. Obviously there's some damage to everything else as well. Not everything else, lots of other stuff. Ordnance throughout. Oh, we have mines to resolve. I'm, I apologize, we forgot to move the mines. So four mines appear to the mining field and they're gonna move towards their ships. A mine hits here, two turrets on fives. Well, at least one hit, so the with mines, it just means it gets half as many dice. Fives to hit. Boom, boom, boom. Two of them, these hit the shield, so one shield and then one possible critical on a six. No. Then on that rock, two turrets, do you have it? You do. Only four shots on fives. That's two hits, one possible crit on a six, no. And the last mine hit right here. Does your turrets hit it? They do, so still have. So fives, just the only the shield. So minor damage from the mines. Mostly shield hits, but a couple hits off of them as well. So poised for the orcs, turn one. What's your battle plan, Steve? Uh, all my stuff here needs to be over there. And you need to do that fast. So all head full. Everybody all head full. Start with the rocks. Now you automatically pass all head full, Yes, right? sir. Is that an orc thing or is that an It's upgrade? an orc thing. Okay. But we only all head full 3d6. Except for your rocks, which are 2d6. And then my brutes, which are... Well, actually, a lot, well, okay, a lot of everybody bought um, boost upgrades going back up to 4d6. Okay. But yeah. So I should point out, just so everybody knows how this works, these things always move 10 centimeters, no matter what. Blast markers, disabled, doesn't matter. Crippled, they're going to move 10 centimeters. And then when he all has full 2d6 on them, he can go any direction <laughs> he wants with that 2d6. But if he rolls at least 10 or higher, and it goes a different direction, then they head in that new direction. Yes. So they never turn except for a lucky all head full. Yeah. All moving ahead full, the rocks move up to here. One of them took some major damage from tor torpedoes, others took some minor damage and destroyed torpedoes as well. Got some lock-ons to do. Lock-on and leadership eight, he passes. It's supposed to resolve, but let's just roll them. Lock-on here, and he fails. I'm gonna use a reroll. You're gonna use one of your yeah. few rerolls for the I entire game? I got two. Go for it. You make it. And the rest of them move forward. We did have one more lock-on over here but the other escorts wanted to turn, so they're just getting the range with all of their guns. Oh, goodness. And then we swing over to the other side, which is more about moving forward. Everything's all ahead falling. Except for this guy here who's going to lock on. Give me a quick lock on. Go. He makes Woo! Oh, look at that. Oh, right, lock on. But before that, all three units of brutes, or brute ram ships, are going to try to oh, ram. Bring it on. Yeah, it's going to be a little difficult for some because of the distance and others because of the leadership. So the way that we ram is they have to do an all head full, which they automatically pass. And now these guys are gonna move pretty fast, so they're gonna get there, but they have to pass a leadership test to see if they line it up right. Because it's the same size, it's on 2d6, and their leadership's only six. Oh, it's oh. a fail. Do you have any more rerolls? And would you use them here? You're gonna use it here? Yeah, why not? Yeah, forget about reroll. Ah, oh, you did it! Okay, that's all head full. They're gonna move 25 centimeters plus that. That'll definitely get there. So they're gonna be ramming these two ships and then ending up past them, assuming they survive. Oh. So as each of these rammers hit, uh, normally these guys will roll four attacks against the, the ship that they hit, trying to hit his front armor. But he has an upgrade, the uh, hull smashes, right? Which does one extra automatic hit. So both these ships are just destroyed. Oh. But because he hit them head on, they both get a chance to hit back. So you need a six to kill them. Yes, and... No. Okay, he had to kill one though. 
north. So destroyed the two front, but he lost one of his hull smashes at the same time. What's their target? Are they targeting that one? Wait, That's the only there. thing right in front of them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What do you have to tell? You gotta do a leadership test. Leadership oh, yeah. No, no, let's just say we passed it. It's a, no. one, it's a 1d6 one though, right? Oh, it would be a 1d6 one. You so pass either way pass though. Yeah. So now you can do your all head full. You're gonna have to roll pretty high to get there though. Yes! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Maybe. That's enough for the front ones to get there. But they are going to pass through the... the <laughs> these, might two, die first. these two are going to pass through it one at a time. As they pass through the, the uh, torpedoes, one of the headships died to the explosion. So two of them managed to get there to ram. So each of them will do 4d6 at plus one automatic. So you get eight dice each six. There's one. So that's three automatic damage to his big ship. But most likely both of these guys are dead from the return hits. Did any of them do critical? No. Hit him back, he's going to need to roll a single six. One's dead. Quickly, roll it again. Roll it again. Let's oh, do those gosh. dice. Go fast. The no battle barge. Oh, oh, just barely. 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 So both these are destroyed. Was it worth it, Steve? Three damage on that big ship? Absolutely. All, all right. right. That's pretty. And the last one going against escorts. Leadership on two dice. No. Okay, so just all ahead full. And here's the after. All ahead full in on everything, even the Space Hulk getting ready to go, except for the one cruise or battleship, of course, ready to fire some weapons with lock on. Let's go to the shooting phase. And we are going to start on this side of the battle with the brutes fired <laughs> into the big ship. And unfortunately, no effect. What a surprise. Lots of firepower here. They braced, but still lost one of their escorts and took a shield hit. And then as we swing over here, nothing much right here. There was one escort lost there and one escort lost there just from some small arms fire. But what we are gonna show is some important stuff. First on our lockdown battleship is firing forward into these escorts, which did brace for impact. So you've got five weapon battery shots that hit on fives. No, sorry, four. It was four that hit on fives, re-rolling. So one so far, oh, two, three. So we got a shield impact and then you can start bracing one at a time, four there's plus. Three remaining there's two, there's two remaining, but two one at a time. Four, first one. So good and good. And then his five Zappa shots would hitch on fives re-rolling. So two Ooh. hits so far. So three of them, one at a time. First one, tanks it. So he's Doesn't dead and then it's a shield hit. And then a shield hit, yeah. And you didn't roll any ones, so you don't take any hits on yourself, Steve. The zap kind of hurts you on ones. And then last, but certainly not least, although maybe right now it's not that impressive, got this massive Space Hulk who's just in range with his lances, and he's firing at those same escorts. And he's got half a number of shots as normal. Is he normally four or eight? Oh, you know what? Uh, I rolled all my lances. Okay, so two shots oh, instead, so roll it again. Man, what if it gets better? Oh, so I'll we'll just take the one. We'll just take the one. So the one hit on him. Go ahead and brace it, because you're already braced. Good luck, little guy. Nope, he dies. Boom. Boom. And then let's get to the real fight because oh. that was just some preliminary bombardment. Look at this mess. <laughs> it's time to fire all sorts of ships. Aren't you excited, Steve? More I'm guns. Excited. Let loose the guns. Start off with your cruel boy battleship firing everything forward and then his uh, side weapons into the escorts. You want to do some bracing? I would love to brace on that Dauntless. So and he braces and they're going to brace the escorts? They wouldn't. They're going to try their best. All right. And they, and they brace. So brace and brace. Into the escorts first on fives, re-rolling though. Those are fours. Those are Cobras. Ooh. Oh, they're fours. Yeah. So two hits. One brace because one's a shield. Oh. And it still kills it. Uh, 19 dice against the other cruisers. <gasps> hitting on fives, re-rolling. I don't think I've seen this many dice rolled in Battle of the Gothic before. Oh, the second reroll kind of sucked though. The one shield and ten hits. Brace. Braces. Oh, not oh, even close. Oh no, he's gone. Oh, that's big. Steve, roll me a two d six and see what happens to his ship when he blows up. Oh, it's just a drifting Hulk. Explodes it. It's now a drifting Hulk, so it's going to keep moving this way, and maybe it will destroy it. Get destroyed in the asteroid field. We'll see. We swing over to this side because we got a lot of shots. These three have heavy guns, which do more shots at close range. It's going to be 13 shots on them. You're going to brace? Cobras will attempt to brace. They're going to fail. They fail. One of your five re-rolls? Uh, uh, actually, might be four re-rolls. I passed that one because it gets plus one. Because you're seven, and then that is yeah. a command check. Fours to hit on them because they're poo-poo armor. Oh, that was a pretty bad roll there, Steve. So we've got a hit. You ready to start uh, right, giving brace. some braces? Brace. Keep going. So that's one. So he's dead. So he's dead. That was on the third shot, I suppose, yeah. Yep, third shot. Fourth one will hit here. Fifth one, brace. We'll and brace. last brace. Last one, he tanks it. Okay. Another big one. Never thought I'd say that from escorts, but they have a lot of guns, and Steve rolled pretty well. So he's got 13 more shots coming into them, hitting on fours, you said. Mm -hmm. And they get to reroll. This is going to do some damage, Luca. Oh, nice. So we got a blast. We got 10 left. Start. Brace. Brace. Good. Nine left. Eight left. So dead. And the next one doesn't have, already has a sh uh, blast on him. So s seven left. He dies. He's dead. So six left, five left, go. And then dead. He's dead. And dead. Okay, so yeah, they're all gone. 
boom, 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 go the escorts. What will happen next is we have a bunch of rocks firing on all these ordnance markers, trying to clear them out because they don't really have range anywhere else. Steve actually got pretty lucky. I thought this was going to be uneventful, so I didn't bother recording. He killed, killed like three units of torpedoes and two full squads yeah. of the, fighters the emperor, and bombers. He, the emperor, he cleared out the Emperor class's uh, attack wing, so we still have the, like, the Mars that shot out there is still active. Yeah, but he's got other We still have a few more things to fire, too. Oh, no, he's not done firing yet, that's for sure. A few more pot shots, took out a couple more escorts. And then we've got uh, this Brock, who did a priority target test, or target priority test, he's going to fire at this one that's lost a shield. How many dice are you going to get? Four total. Hitting on? Five. Oh! Five, three hits. Yeah, three they, hits. They might do criticals. Three possible criticals. Little mistake there. We forgot to do the left shift, the bad shift for the blast, and so Steve would have changed targets there. Uh, Luca would not have braced. Would not have braced. So no. We've got three hits, two possible criticals. Roll sixes. No criticals. So he's lost two of his six wounds. We've got some long-range weapons here firing at this cruiser. It only ends up with two dice, but it's on fives re-rolling, and Luca does not want to brace. Ah. That's one hit. One hit. Does it crit on a six? No. But so he does cripple him. He's now crippled because he had started at six. And that is the shooting phase, except for launching ordnance. So destroying three escorts. Uh, we got a hulking, a hulking burning ship drifting forward. Uh, he killed all the escorts over there, crippled a light cruiser, and destroyed a lot of the ordnance. Luca, you look like you're sweating over there. I know, it's a lot of pressure over here. This is going south fast on this side. Yeah, who knows, as, he's, as he bombards. You might have to be doing a lot of planetary defense on the ground, and really have to depend on that. So now, we are going to launch all the ordnance, and show you exactly where it all ends up. So not much happened. Um, we've only got... Uh, Four fighter bombers oh, here. here we go. Six torpedoes. Three torpedoes. Three torpedoes. Four torpedoes. Three torpedoes. One torpedo. One torpedo. Four fighter bombers. Six torpedoes. Six torpedoes. Three torpedoes. This is the one three torpedoes. Done. Three por torpedoes. Uh, torpedoes. Torpedoes. Five torpedoes. And then over here we've got uh, uh, four uh, assault craft. We've got uh, two fighter bombers. We've got four fighter bombers. Four fighter bombers. Three fighter bombers. And that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That wasn't like half an hour off camera. No, I don't know. And now we're going to move them all. We must hurt. The two torpedoes here are designed to go into this volley, taking up two of your fighters. And leave the bombers. In. And then you have the, the fighter bombers that'll come up and exchange two for two. These three torpedoes survived going through the blast markers. The turret's taken on a couple of them. Sorry, this one actually died to the second blast. We only rolled once. Fours to hit this one. And Ooh. fours to hit this one. Hey, Luca, you got some bracing. Brace? Twice? Brace! Oh, he's, he's dead. Out of here. One brace? Brace once. He's, he's dead. dead. Oh, Oof. boom, boom, say the torpedoes. Torpedoes. <laughs> <laughs> and then the portito ends over here. The torpedoes over here come here. The turret killed one of them. Fives to hit them. And uh, one hit exactly. Very efficient, Steve. Luca did not want to brace. That exploded. Give me a roll to see if the blast marker destroys you, Steve. Nope. And then two more turrets. Turrets! One more destroyed, leaving three. On fives. Nothing. And then they skim, they do not hit anything else. And then this Totito. Totito. Will come over, hit here. One turret brought it down to two. Fives to hit that one. Nothing. And then the Cotito ended up over here. Fight a bomb as then move in. Oh, turret! Maybe. Yes. He destroys one. Boom. Lucas successfully braces before the three bombers go in. So you're going to roll 3d6. Each of these is subtracted by one to a minimum of one. So we've got uh, four, one, and one. Oh, sorry, minimum of zero. So it's, oh, so it's just 3d6 minus three. Against armor five plus. Oh, two hits. Brace, brace on four plus. I see none. One, one, one brace. On a six, it does a crit. No. And a five out of six, whoops. And then they return and refuel. This torpedo blows up in the blast markers. First. We got some big volleys of torpedoes coming towards the capital ship. Six of them, but you got five turrets, Luca. Show them what's what. Uh, I only That's not what's what. <laughs> Uh, Five get through. I'm not bracing. Five? Not bracing? What's the armor? Six. Oh, oh. five, sorry. There's, yeah. four. There's no fives in there. There's no fives in there. Yeah. So these will continue through towards the planet, and then it's destroyed. And then these six will come and, get, and go through the turrets as well. Uh, turrets! Do better? That's uh, better. Down yeah. to four. Need five, Steve. Fives this time. Six That's one hit. No, he's armor five. Oh, he's armor oh, five. five. You go yeah. through worst armor. So it's one hit. You didn't brace, so does it crit? On a six, it crits. No crit. Okay. That one, a singular one, hits him, does not get through the turret, or does not the get turret through the turret. The turret does not stop it, yeah. And then continues on. And then a volley of three going into that one. Come on, turrets. 
We stop one. one. So oh that's two God. of them, Steve. Can you roll five pluses? No. Ooh. Not quite. We moved all of Lucas as well. A lot of them just blew up in asteroids and blew off the table. Some are coming through, and if he's not careful, we'll start to threaten him. Right. And then his Thunderhawks have flown through, getting ready next turn maybe to help out. And there is one mine that's still slowly drifting towards the rock that'll get him next turn. Over here we have two waves of two assault craft, or two assault boats going right here. Two turrets on each of these. Ooh, stops oh, one. one gets through, and that is a hit and run. So on a four plus, will just destroy the escort. Oh, oh he does. Nice. Before we show that, the second one obviously will come up and hit the next one. Two turrets. turrets. Oh, that one's destroyed. So one escort is destroyed. We got a bunch of fighter bombers clearing out ordnance. This one will exchange one of its for this one. This one will lose one of theirs to clear out this one. This one's just going to shift over here and lose one to clear out this one. And the rest of the ordinance is not important. It doesn't really do anything. It's the end of turn two. That was a pretty devastating turn for Steve. This side of the table wasn't too much. It was just a few escorts. I think it was but kind of more devastating for Luca. Yeah. I mean, you did a devastating turn, Steve. I'm sorry. You killed two escorts here. That killed that ship right there. Killed five escorts there. Six escorts over there. You've knocked off some damage. You've crippled one of his light cruisers. Destroyed the one over there. And destroy. Yeah, this one right here is is drifting. It's a drifting Hulk. And you got all sorts of ordnance. Oh, well, not a lot of ordnance anymore. Is it's heading towards them. But um, and look at all those rocks just getting ready to head towards that planet. It's still going to take them a couple more turns, at least just to land the first few rocks. But maybe Luke can blast those out of the sky and keep them from getting to the planet. That's all turn one. So that's pretty crazy. Let's go to turn two. As Luca prepares to start, let's give a survey of the battlefield. The ships over here haven't really moved yet, and they've just kind of taken the onslaught, lost a few of their escorts. These escorts moved up, and most of them were destroyed. As Steve's orc ships are prepared to come through, lots of assault craft moving up. On this flank over here, Luke has taken a loss of one of his light cruisers, another one's braced. Lost a bunch of escorts here, while some others punched through and did some damage. We got Thunderhawks coming through as reinforcements from the other side. And then he has to deal with this huge swarm of rocks. If even just one rock makes it, that's bad, bad news for the Imperial Navy and all of the ground forces waiting for that. So let's see how Luca can do in his turn too. The cluster of cruisers around the planet are going to enact some orders, starting with reloading their ordnance. The Emperor class? He's a 10 or less. We're good. Remember, you can fail three of these before you're not able to, able to do any more. Trying with the Mars? Leadership? Uh oh, that's he, a fail. He, with the plus one, he might pass. Nope. He's eight, isn't he? Yeah. You know what? Use one of your rerolls. Use one of them. Why not? There we go. Made it. Eight on both of those because of blast. Ooh, that's a fail. And no reroll there. No reroll. Throw there. the other one really quick. Uh, oh, and also okay. fails. So that's two of your fails so far. Huh. And then getting ready. Everything over here is gonna break orbit and move forward to deal with all of the rocks. And the last one will move up. It's crippled. Poor Go crippled here. cruiser. He might still be able to do something, right? Or just be a distraction. Aw, oh, Mercury Cruiser. We'll go at least 10 there and turn. Gets his broadsides ready to go. Oh yeah, here we go. Ready to parte. Boom. And then your sword class escorts. We're gonna turn, fly through some blast markers. Get near a mine. Oh no. You could get hit by your own mines. They are gonna go towards the nearest enemy ship, but if they pass over you, they hit you. That's fair. Bringing it. Swishing to the other side of the battlefield. Let's uh, lock on with the battle barge. Leadership 10. We're good. Piece of cake. And he's just going to bypass those little escorts. Like, they're not anything significant whatsoever. To the strike cruisers, they'll attempt lock on orders. That's right. Time to get into the mess, not to stay back and burn retros, right? And pass. I'm in an all ahead full right there. Well, not the order, all ahead full, of course. Escorts over here reloaded ordnance, move that way. And then the other ones are just going straight forward, uh, turning and going straight into those escorts. All of them, just for those four little escorts. What possible damage could they do? <laughs> We're going to raid it. I know. Right. rest of the escorts all just moved up to get in a better position. And then because he hadn't failed all his orders, Space Station locked on, and then locked on, locked on, locked on, locked on, locked on, locked on, failed. And that was his third <laughs> fail, and you're not going to throw a reroll at that. No, no, I don't think yeah, These are all a couple lances each, so that's pretty impressive. And then the Space Station, of course, has, he basically uh, has the power of two Space Stations. We, we souped him up. Into the shooting phase, we're going to start off with the sword class, all firing their weapons into this escort wing, which Steve did brace. Brace for impact! Oh. Twelve shots on fives. Oh, three hits. Shield impact on the first. 
four up brace. Nope. Oh, <laughs> take, that one. You take, take that. All that killed one of them. Then we back up over here. The Cobras knocked out a shield, and the Gladius frigates from the Space Wolves took out the other shield and a hull point off of that. Even cruiser. though they're braced. Yeah, even though they're braced. Space Station then locks on his lances into the escorts and his weapon batteries over here. They they braced, but the big guy failed to. Weapon batteries into the cruiser. Needs on six fives. All needs sixes? Yes, because he's all got the front armor. And, and re rolling. Three hits. So three of them. He's down to six. Not quite crippled. And then six lances into the braced escorts on fours. You got two so far, Locked. all the way up to four. And it smashes into the first one, taking out a shield, and then it braces all of those hits. That's a good rolling. Yeah. It's the battle barge fails his target priority test and must fire everything at the nearest, so lots of shots into this huge the battle barge. Bombardment cannons. Bombardment yeah. cannons, and then some weapon batteries over at this one, which still has full shields. So the bombardment cannons are going to get six shots in on fours re rolling, so Steve decided to brace, and he made it. He does have four shields on him right now with his custom force fields. And, and he got two four. hits so far. Four. And you've knocked out the shields. All sorts of debris spreading out from the battle bar, or from your battleship. And then eight shots this way, hitting on sixes, re rolling, and Steve is not bracing. One hit. And three. Two, three hits. So two of them get through the shields. Six. Bombardment cannon fires forward, setting this uh, battle, our battle cruiser on fire. And this one continued firing, and this one fired as well, and had no effect. No luck. Yeah, but he missed pretty much everything. But we got one weapon battery hit on yeah, this he got, cruiser. Yeah, he, he lost one wound. And then on this flank, the escorts all open fire with their weapon batteries and lances into this cruiser, who ended up having three shields with his random D3. And they dropped those shields, essentially, but nothing else. And that is all the shooting here. Drop the shields there, drop the shields, lit this one on fire. It made it brace, though, so that's something. And made these uh, these guys soaked up so much with their um, they really with, did. with their brace, but they're braced now. So you made a few things brace, so that's good. And dropped some shields, did some damage on these ships over here, and destroyed one escort on the other side. And now we come to this mess. Oh. You better do better on this side, Luca. Otherwise, you are in big, big doo doo. You can see this battleship heading straight towards your moon. If he gets it, I forgot to point out before. Not only does he get the Nova Cannon, but he gets the, any surviving defenses as well. So you do not want that to happen. And he's close enough to get there, because he just has to get to low orbit uh, in the rules of this scenario, and then just give up his shooting, launching ordnance, and teleport attacks, and all of that. So how are you going to try to stop it? Uh, we're going to try and lower his shields a little bit before we fire a Nova Cannon at him. So we're going to do the Mercury Battle Cruiser, weapon batteries into the cruiser there, the Battle Cruiser, and then these weapon batteries are just going to go for the escorts. Humble the escorts. Might as well. Bracing on the big guy. You do, with the plus one, thankfully. Opens fire and takes out an escort. And just takes off one shield, and there was a lot of dice being rolled. Nothing really happened. The next light cruiser fires in all directions, takes a shield, takes a shield, takes a shield. Escorts are going to open fire, and Steve breaks his own rule and decides to brace the I rock. go explaining that I would never brace these things, and then he tells me how many dice I, mean, I had to brace. You have to brace, right? <laughs> a lot of weapon batteries on it. Looking for fives. No rerolls, though. Oh, wow. We got good thing you braced. That's six hits. So yeah, six hits. Yeah, he'd be dead if he hadn't braced. <laughs> and he got two wounds left. Now there's there's uh he had got four of them through, so sixes will critical nothing no. We got lances from these defenses coming into this cruiser, but four is re-rolling because they're all oh, locked no. on. Locked on go. Luca, don't make me record. No, no, you suck. We got one of our big cruisers right here. The Armageddon firing all the weapon batteries and lances, even the prow lances into this rock, and then a Nova cannon straight here, which will resolve separately. And Steve opted to brace, even though it's so close. <laughs> We're making him brace. Because uh, that's a lot of shots over there coming towards him. We need fives this as a reroll. batteries. Ooh, there's two already. That's four. Four, so that's one shield and three hits. Three braces. So two get through. Crit on sixes gets you extra hits. Ooh, that's three get through. And four lance hits as well. So that's uh, one so far. Ooh, three. Brace becomes two. Crits on six. No. No, just two. So you, you brought him down to three. Nova Cannon right here will scatter 2d6. Ooh, 9 centimeters. Uh-oh. That's going to be like... Uh-oh. It ends up right here, exploding in the void of space. Now we got the next one basically doing some of the yeah, similar idea. Nova Cannon this way, weapon batteries there, and then lances forward. Do the lances first, no lock on. We got one hit on that guy. Then one ekes through here, unfortunately. <laughs> Just one. Knocks him down to two. Nova Cannon shot here. Let's if it doesn't see. work once, try again. Seven yeah. centimeters that way. That's Well, that might actually uh, turn this thing into a Blazing Hulk. No, it hits nothing. These two light cruisers then fire, doing no effect on the right side, but knocking this rock down to three out of its eight wounds. Crippled cruiser goes next. 
uh, forcing this rock to brace, but still takes a wound, and then knocking a shield off the rock over there. Emperor class battleship is now timed, has a time to shine. He's going to be firing shots here, here, and here, everything to braced. And he got like what, six, five, and five shots? Right, so on Lots the, of weapon batteries. Yeah, the port is going to be firing there, and then we have, well, we got dorsal and prow weapon batteries that are all firing forward, so five and five and six in that guy. Six so shots into the first one on fives, no re rolling. I got two, three, three hits. hits. You need to pass two braces. You do. Ooh. Unless Luca rolls a six and makes it a crit, he nope. doesn't, so it's down to one. And then five shots into the next one on fives. Ooh, two hits, enough to kill it. Brace, four plus. Oh, one's left. Unless Luca rolls a six. No! no. The brace is saving him somehow. The last one takes three <laughs> hits. Jeez. You really? And saves one, unless you roll a six amongst the other two. You have to roll two dice. No! They're all at one. <sighs> they all stay at one. This is fine. This is fine, right, Luca? Yeah. It's fine. Well, they're all brave, so they can't do what they want to do next. I know, right? but it means you have to yeah. still focus. You turn them off for a turn. <laughs> and lastly, we've got three weapon batteries with lances, two of them locked on. Okay, we're going to go one at a time. So non-locked on one. Four. Misses. Nope. Locked on one. Four plus. Yes, Steve, can you brace it? Oh, over there. He braces it. And then Last one. Four. Reroll. Reroll. No. Nothing. And lastly, he fires up the macro cannon, which is equivalent to an infinite range, no minimum range, Nova cannon. Right here, but since it's so close, it only scatter D6. Perhaps this time? Uh, oh, golly. That's off. How did you manage to miss it all well, the time? That's probably at least one hit, but he's got shields. We'll see. Yeah, it does nick him on this side for a shield hit. So that's the end of the first shooting phase. But yeah. as like, the hobbits like to say, that was just first breakfast. Now it's <laughs> time for second. Elevensies? Lunch? Afternoon tea? It's ordnance phase! Well, before that, you're going to launch all your ordnance. I got to, yeah, shoot out all the stuff I reloaded. We got a big wave of attack craft launched here, a huge wave of attack craft launched here, getting ready to go for this big old battleship. Gorbat Bridge. We got six torpedoes from that one cruiser. Swinging over from this side, the space station decides to launch its ordnance. We got three wings of fighters <laughs> and bombers. And then six torpedoes coming from these three little escorts, and ten torpedoes heading towards that cruiser. So ten smash into it, three turrets on fives, so that becomes nine of them. Nine, nine shots hits. on fives. And Steve's already braced. He's braced, okay. Uh, we have uh, we four hits. Four of them. Brace! He braces three Oof, of them. Very nice. Does the one do anything critical? No. No. And then they carry on. Eventually. They're going towards the Space Hulk, but he's probably Yeah, Space Hulk's going to move out of the way. Six torpedoes get here. Two of them Oof. destroyed from the turrets. And then hitting this front armor on sixes, nothing. And they'll continue and hit the next ship, basically doing nothing to this one. And they'll just sail off into the eternities. So the fighters and bombers hit them, did nothing, thanks to their braces. Turrets and, and turrets bracing. And turrets and bracing, and the other ones have just sailed off. So a lot of fighter bombers from the orcs going to that one cruiser, but between the turret suppression and everything, he only lost one wound. Steve rolled really poorly. Kind of mine the drifts into this one. So the turrets failed to do anything. Luca rolled five hits, and Steve braced four of them. <laughs> and it's alive. A bunch of Thunderhawks came flying through here, but the turrets destroyed most of them, but one of them managed to do a hit and run. Good job, Marines. And lit it on fire. So there's some fires that have been started inside of there. Six torpedoes here, but between the turrets and everything, he only destroyed one escort. Had the attack wing of two fighters and bombers make it to this rock, but only managed to do one wound, and Steve braced it! Then we have a big wing of four fighters and four bombers coming for your big battleship. Four turrets on fives. Oh, Steve! 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 You took out all his fighters. That means all your bombers will be D6 minus four shots each. Oh. I'm starting my Warhammer dice rolling school. You can sign up for online classes. Yeah. It's a uh, roll better. <laughs> Luca's ready to go home now. All right, uh, let's see if Luca gets lucky. Nine. Zero, 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 zero. Zero, 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 zero. All the other torpedoes got taken up by turrets, except for this one right here. Knocked out one more wound on that already crippled ship. Oh, this one here is going full. Oh, we missed one. We did miss one. It's going to go past it, but... And that one didn't do anything, and then flew off the table. Now, on the last phase, we do have teleport attacks, now that you're in range. So you can th try to throw one there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do... Or you can throw it out of the escort. Well, oh, the escort. Oh, he's got shield. Oh, uh, that's right. We're going to go both into that guy. So we'll start with the first one, the ordnance guy. That's a... That's a... They're not cruisers, so that's just the damage, right? Yeah, yeah well, they, they count as capital ships, but... They count as escorts when it comes to critical So I need points. four pluses to actually do it. So that's, that does take him out. But you and Steve doesn't want Luca to have any fun, so he actually braced it. We forgot to ask him if he wanted beforehand. And he passed the brace, and he made both of the braces. We're having fun, though. I'm going to crash a rock into you. You'll be fine. And then he teleported aboard that escort and took it out. Boom. 
He got a hit and run over here on a three plus. Because he's got no shield. Space Marine. Oh, he, he <laughs> dodge it. You dodge it. At the end of Luca's turn, he's not feeling so hot. Oh no, this he, is rough. He's looking worried. Uh, he's got attack craft out still. He's managed to do some damage, but Steve is going to be able to retaliate in his turn. As you're seeing that uh, you didn't, all you killed was uh, four escorts. And you, you severely, like, let's, let's... There's a lot of bracing. Yeah, there's tons of bracing, yeah. and these are down to one wound each and two. So, like, they're, they're, next turn, you're going to be removing a lot from the table. Assuming that, assuming that he doesn't just destroy a lot of your guys, of course. But, um, yeah, there's lots of braces. Brace, brace, brace. So that makes a big difference. So let's see what Steve can do in return. You got this, right? I've rallied. I've, I've eaten food, and I've got rid of my, my <laughs> hangriness. <laughs> I almost... Did what? bad things to Steve <laughs> when he destroyed my attack wave. <laughs> that was a massive attack wave stopped by four stupid orc turrets. They're good turrets. Yeah. They are good. I mean, in it's, like it's my dice. Looking at like looking at the way the game works rule wise, the orc turrets do seem very good, but they need it because their armor X sucks against bombers. I get it. I get it. But give me an ordnance kit. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> right. All right, Steve. It's your turn. Yeah. Yeah. The big thing's gonna lock on. Yeah. The so whole ten. Lock on! Oh, hey! All right. You, you made it, just barely. <laughs> Did you want a teleport strike? Yeah, your That's teleport strike is 30 centimeters, 30 right? centimeters. Oh, oh is, is he on that? Good. Yeah. Nice. It's gonna, <laughs> get, it's gonna get good. We've got our first attempted boarding actions. We did it. <laughs> Steve's moving these three. All three of them are going to board the space station. The ram was a trick. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a ram. It's yeah, a they, ram they went through there and that slid them down, but they were able to get in there. More boarding! Uh, now these ones will resolve using the normal boarding rules because it's just escorts versus escorts and so it would take forever to do a game for every single one. So let me make sure I'm not on torpedoes. These are The big braced battle cruiser is just, just going to drift that. forward. This gun's all primed and ready to go. What happens? There you are. Oh. And these two ships roll their orders. Got lock on and reload ordnance for the other one. Lock on will just drift forward, getting ready to bombard the crap out. And then the other one will just move forward, getting ready to fire its ordnance. All the cruisers here are moving forward, some locking on, the ones that can. This one's braced, so he's not doesn't have much choice. Are you boarding? No. No, okay. The orcs have all moved forward, getting ready to board or shoot or whatever they're gonna do. And then we come towards the planets and the moon. And what's the big plan here, Steve? What's the big brain move? We're gonna right send the Big Mac right to the planet, right past everything. We're gonna go huh. all head full, and then as many rocks that can try to keep up will attempt to right after that. Okay, so why don't you roll his, because you're automatically passing all head full. Yeah. So roll his all head full, you're going an extra 11 centimeters. He's got to get within 15, which he should easily be able to do with that bursting right through there. He won't have very many troops to land all at once, the rocks have way more, but allow him to start to do some preliminary attacks. And then the rocks are all going to all head full, starting here. And here's the after, but we've got something exciting going on, this rock which is at full health, is initiating a boarding action against your capital ship. Sure. Yeah, right. that'll be fun. Be interesting. That one will be worked out in a, in a game of uh, a boarding action game, not just by dice. Next desperate action. Oh, right to the moon. And he's going to start, well, you don't declare this until your shooting phase, but he's basically going to do nothing except launch troops onto the moon, right? Is that correct, Steve? Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, sure. Escort squad over there, locked on. Yeah, we'll go farther. They can fire. Oh, they can't turn. They locked on. Oh, yeah, these are the ones that fire all the way around. Sorry, I was thinking of this But they one. fire front, left, right, so this you're okay. This was... He's allowed to be base to base. Not really, right? You have to show your turrets. Eh, I don't know. One over here ah! re reloaded his ordnance. <laughs> the lab torpedoes the, uh, the things. That's, why not? So all the movement is done. Everything is locked and ready to go, and we're going to start by shooting over here. Now, this battle cruiser is not going to do anything because he's going to use, use the rest of his turn to launch troops onto the moon. Same thing for this big old battle cruiser right here, and then this uh, rock, of course, is initiating a boarding action. Some piddly shots here. We'll record it just for fun. Three shots hitting on fives. One hit just plinks off the shields. Next up, we have the locked on ones. So they're going to be re-rolling. And four of them are firing at this uh, cruiser, and the other one that can't fire at him is going to fire at this cruiser. And he braced, because he has to. Because how many dice are you about to roll, Steve? Thirteen. Thirteen, hitting on fives, re-rolling. So, ouch, so far. That's six so far. Seven, eight, nine hits. Now, Luca, you saw how Steve rolled his dice, so just do it back. 
You dead? Oh, Luca! That's not the save! What's that? Is that That's phrase? the cataclysmic damage. So six. That just turns him into a drifting hulk, so he's not even blazing. He's not even gonna blow up on anybody. And then four shots into the other one. It's not braced. And has two wounds left. And you got him. Got him, he did. But what's the cataclysmic damage there, Luca? Why don't you do the honors of rolling a double six and watch him detonate in the middle of everything. Oh, it's an eight. He's a blazing eight. Oh, nine would have been overloaded. But he is blazing, which means he has a chance of uh, blowing up when you move him later. Oh, and now that's a blazing hulk. So later on, it could explode. And then the super crippled braced rock fired. And uh, only got two hits, which... Where, where are you going, Steve? I feel he come off of him. <laughs> <laughs> and crippled that ship. Just with a couple wayward shots that Luke is like, I'm not going to brace Orc's that. Orc's OP. We've been staying for years. <laughs> two shots on. And that's all over here? It was like nothing, 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 nothing. Cripple, cripple, and destroy, destroy. It was all at the end there. Those escorts combined with that one little rock. This devastated Luca's right flank and his heart. <clears throat> yes. The terror ship is going to fire everything into these escorts. The front gun into that one on the side of there. Luca braced. How many dice do you get? This is the front one? Combine. Oh, sorry. The front gun is going to be D6 plus 4. So that and is then 10 more for the second one. So seven shots at the one in the front. Hitting on fives. No re-rolls. It's just one hit. That's a shield hit. And then firing over there. Now this one counts as being down a shield because they're in base contact. So you're looking at fives. Oh, nothing. Look at you doing nothing. Sorry, if I, I'm not recording everything, but every once in a while we slip through something. He did a target priority for a space hawk, wanting to fire forward at the uh, battle bar. Battle bar. But he rolls an 11, so he's going to be forced to put it into the escorts instead. Cool. And then, so he's firing all this stuff into the escorts. Luca did brace because you've got 11 weapon batteries and four lances all locked on. So fives to hit the weapon batteries. So you got four hits so far with a lock on letting you reroll. And that gets you three more, so that's seven. So shield, brace, so dead. dead. Shield. That's three. This Brace, four. five, keep going, ah. five, five. No, I won't count that one. Uh, He's dead. Five, and, and then a shield. shield's at six. Dead. He's dead. All right, all three of them are dead just from that. Next up, we got a special zap gun and some weapon batteries firing. So zap gun is just like a lance, except that it wounds on fives instead of fours. So you got, what, five of those shots? Okay, and Luca does not want to brace, right, Luca? He wants to do the weapon batteries first. Yeah. I'm not going to brace this, no. Oh, yeah, weapon batteries first, so there's no blast. Yeah. Four? Four. Four weapon batteries. Need sixes, though. On the barge. Reroll, because you're locked on. Don't One win. shield out of how many shields? Down to three shields. Get on fives now. There should be five of these, Steve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zap gun. Fives! Uh -oh. Reroll! You gotta get. Here it is, all of them! Just two. Two more. So shields are almost down. It's down to one shield. He wants all the shields off so he can teleport aboard. Another terror ship will fire. Three shots here, two shots this way, two shots that way. Any braces, Luca? No. Okay, the one I care about the most is the big guy because you want to drop his shields. Oh. Need a six. You get nothing, and you're not locked on. And so this is to the right, to the left. Right one, nothing. Left one, nothing. And the other two ships fired. One escort is destroyed, but no matter how much shooting here, he was not able to take the last shield down, which is very important. Not that he's done yet, but it's important that he gets that shield down. Got a locked on. Is that another terror cruiser? Uh, that's the kill cruiser. Kill Sh cruiser. Out these ones. Okay, so left into them. Oh no. Uh, I'll do priorities for health. So think about it. Okay. Passes, so they can go wherever the Left into wants. them. So right into uh, them. Front, I don't think I have anything. Into the escorts, eight shots for your rolling. So fives to hit, so you got three so far. They are braced, so maybe they'll survive this. And that's two more, so five total. So you got four more to go through, four plus. He dies. He's dead. The next one takes a shield, so take one of those off. And uh, he's dead. And then and the last guy. He or is there no, the other has already And he's dead. And he's dead. With great unerring efficiency, as the orcs, of course, are, as known, the orcs for. are known for. Yeah, the escorts are destroyed. Got the ship firing forward. Luca's not bracing. There's 16 dice going into this, but six is to hit. Re-rolling. So you got three so far, so we have punctured through the shields. Oof. Can you get more there, Steve? One more, so four total. So three go in. Can you uh, see if those are criticals? No criticals. That brings him down to six. Is that cripple one, Luca? Yes, sir. And then firing forward. It'll be uh, 14 shots. You sure you don't want to brace? Nope. Okay, six is to hit. You got one, two, three so far. Four more. Four! He's down to two. Are any of those crits? Roll four dice. Let's put him out of his misery, Steve. No, nope, no crits. He's down to two. Now firing forward. Gets nine dice. Not bracing. Needs sixes. No rerolls. One hit. So that's a shield. And that is all the shooting. Pretty devastating, I must say. Very much crippling is Luca's big old battleship for his space wolves. And destroying an escort wing and hurting some other escorts and doing some damage around and preparing to board. So let's launch some ordnance. 
So the Space Hulk has lots of ordnance, but it just launched 11 torpedoes out front. And then we got a huge wing of fighter bombers over here, of seven of them. And then we've got a few fighter bombers here getting ready to, to launch forward. We swing to the other side, we've got uh, four torpedoes coming out of this one little escort. So we got these fighter bombers that are just going to basically fly up and tangle with those bombers and fighters, and then they're all just going to go home. Or the survivors will. Of course, three of Steve's survive. Let's see if those torpedoes go blow up in the... Well, we'll go over there after. So then we've got this group right here. Oh, sorry, these torpedoes. Yeah, like... I thought you meant the torpedoes on the other side of the table. On a six, they all blow up. Oh! <laughs> you rolled a six. So 11 torpedoes destroyed. So fighter bombers here, where are they going? Uh, right into that little ship. The light cruiser. All right, uh, turrets. So the turrets knocked out one, and the rest of them did nada. And they're going back in shame to refuel in the Space Hulk. Then the very important torpedoes, four of them, are they going to go through the blast? They do. Two. One of them is destroyed by turrets. So down to three. And one of them slams in, doing a, a critical hit, destroying the prow weaponry. And it continues through and hits this defense. The turrets destroy one of them. And it hits once and does critical and destroys it. Because why not? We just have some more torpedoes. So, so this one actually get this one you fired earlier in the I game. I fired right? a turn one, yeah. And now it's gonna smash into your own guys. You got a couple turrets though, or one turret? They're all together, so it reduces it by one. So two hits. You get to roll against yourself. Or yeah. one hit. Nada. And then it hits the next guy. And then I don't know if they can master. They it. can't mass mass turrets more than once, but the guy can still fire his turrets and he destroys it. And these three Thunderhawks make it to this rock where Steve will promptly shoot two of them down with two of his turrets. No, he doesn't. What's going on, Steve? For uh, three pluses. There, he just did three hit and runs, knocking off three of its wounds, crippling this rock. If we come to the boarding actions, we've got three escorts on three escorts. So one, there's a three different boarding actions. Now, after we've worked everything out, including the brace and the fact that the orcs get a plus one, essentially they're going to roll a die each, and whoever rolls higher will destroy the other person's escort. Now, it is possible, even if you win, to get a critical hit and die as well. So let's start here. Roll off, guys. Okay, so he beats you by three. Which, um, on a 6 plus, Steve, roll a 6 plus and you'll do a critical hit to him. No. So this one's just destroyed. Can you okay, Orcs. that's the first one, and Ooh. no critical hit on him. So next one, roll off, guys. Oh, that's a tie! So they actually stay together, and nobody gets critical hits, and they have to, those two ships have to continue doing boarding actions after this turn. So these two... Ah. Your men's! <laughs> on a 6, you still do a critical hit to him and kill him. No! He just destroyed you, Steve! With so much for your orcs, little orcs. Even a BFG, don't fight. <laughs> don't melee. And then we do have a 30 centimeter teleporter attack. No, it's just on a 4 plus. Or no, sorry, it's just a, it's a hit and run. So it does nothing. Good job. Now, we still have some other ones to resolve, but those are going to be resolved in actual games of 40k, which means we're nearing the end of our episode. We've got these three um, escorts boarding the space station, so they're going to drop off some troops. They're not going to be able to take the space station in just one go, especially with that small complement, but they can still seize a good amount of it. We've got over here, this, um, this was a Cruel Boy cruiser, and it's teleporting and it's dropping cool troops, or sorry, battleship or battle cruiser, whatever. It's dropping troops into the planet, to, or into the moon, to try to seize that awesome Nova Cannon that is super <laughs> pinpoint precision accurate. It will be once the orcs fire it. You know yeah, it! I know, that's the problem. And that's gonna bother Luke that's at you That's the problem. It'll be direct hit, six damage, probably. Boom. No problem. And all criticals, too, probably. Yeah, all criticals, each time. And then he'll also get access to these awesome lance batteries. Mm -hmm. And then the other one that we're gonna resolve, because this one is not has not yet dropped off enough troops for us to do anything on the planet. Uh, but we are gonna resolve the orc rock dropping off troops on here. Now that won't necessarily be able to take over the ship, but he could do some nasty damage inside of there and start to mess up all of the systems. So that's three different games of 40k that you're going to see. Some of them planet strikes, some of it boarding actions. That'll be our next three episodes.